and another occasional vlog on Taylor's getting back. I'm heading back to the Gulf of Doom. It isn't the Gulf of Doom, it's been fine. I just don't drive it very far. <laughs> Strange how you get used to cars having certain features. This Golf doesn't have like proximity keys, so when I walk up to it, I have to press the button. Oh no, first of all problems. <laughs> it also doesn't have a reversing camera. So every time I reverse, I go on the screen and then go, of course it doesn't have a reversing camera. <laughs> anyway, we'll get home and we'll chat, we'll have a catch up. And we'll have a look what we bought from Taylor's Farm Shop. All right, bag, bag of tricks here. So I've got sausage roll for my dinner. If I drop that on my foot, it'll break it. It's massive. Got a couple of pies for Monday. Got a mint one and a steak and stilton. So mint for jam and steak and stilton for me. Load in the fridge up as I go. We have a new one to me. Picana steaks, which are apparently part of the rump sirloin here. I don't know. They look sirloinish, don't they? They were eight pounds something for two decent sized steaks. I thought I'd pick them up to try. So try something different. Gemma's favourites are these uh, minted lamb chops. Grab some of them. She'll look forward to having them. To go with those two, we have some creamed garlic mushrooms. Yeah, a space in the fridge. We have some garlic and herb potatoes. I didn't realise I bought garlic in both. We are going to stick. <laughs> uh, for the freezer, we have the, t the southern fried chicken and the chicken chunks. These are always good when we come back from the pub and we're a bit snacky. Some bacon for breakfast. That might be next week though. And I haven't had one in a while and I want to see if they've managed to sort of settle the flavour down on this because it did taste awful when they have the sugar. So I thought I'd get myself a Fentiment. We'll see how we get on and I'll update you with that in a bit. In Kitty Cat updates, Pixie's very happy with a new box. <laughs> And then the boys are just chilling on the couch. Hello Arch, you alright matey? Gemma is of course in work, it is Saturday, so she's in work today. Uh, so you've got me for the day, which means I'll probably forget vlogging and then we'll catch up later when Gemma's home. <laughs> uh, not really got any plans for today. We mentioned last week that we're going to town tomorrow for Tiger Rock, which should be nice. We're going to have a meal, maybe end up in Dead Crafty or something like that. There is a few things on in town, so maybe we could check those out. But also, this weekend there's yellow warnings for wind, so uh, it might just be stay sheltered, stay safe, and drink beer. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at this. Of course she stopped doing it. She just ran over and snuggled into Archie's head because she wants, probably wants her to, him to groom her. She's very cute. And she come back over here now, look. <laughs> so yeah uh, but yeah the we're not probably going to do zoo until i get my car back because i don't want to park that car in any other car parks if i can help it so like shopping fine uh taylor's farm shop uh, maybe cars tonight but i've got a spot where i can park where we're not gonna have to worry about any doordings because it's a rental car i don't want to get damaged because it's not like american rental cars where you get a collision damage waiver and, and drive it through a field or past some alligators um this one i'm trying to not use as much as i probably should i don't know <laughs> no, I, i'm just i'm just doing the bare minimum absolutely what i need to do in it uh i mean it has grown on me a bit now it's not actually a bad car to drive it's quite, i quite like it but i mean this is indicative of cars in general and it's the same with my car it has all the automated features except for reverse camera folding mirrors <laughs> all that sort of stuff uh but it has all like the uh Adaptive cruise control, uh, steering assist, stuff like that. And my car, I've found obviously in both cars, well, I say obviously, I mean, I don't know if people know, like more modern cars are getting very, very technical and digital and they do all sorts. And it's people, some people like it, most people don't. Uh, and things like it will assist your steering, so it keeps you in the lane that you're in and things like that. This one does all that sort of stuff as well. And I used to use cruise control generally just like seven and a 40 mile an hour zone. I'll just pop the cruise control and just let the car set, take care of the, the steer, you know, the acceleration. And I'll just cover the brake. Um, with adaptive cruise control and cars that like scan the road as you're driving along, it'll see like speed limits. My car will see a 20 and it'll go, there's a 20 mile an hour, you need to slow down. I'm like, that's the side street. The Golf will see a 20 and go, I'm going to slow you down now. I just slam on. And if you're doing a 40 mile an hour, it'll go, oh, 20. 
slow down to 20 and you're like, I'm in a 40 mile an hour, that's a side street. So that was kind of annoying. So I, to be honest, on both of the cars, I've stopped using cruise control on any of the little side streets. And I say side streets, I mean, I'm talking like fairly major air roads with 40 miles an hour speed limits on them. So my car's little gimmick is as you're driving along, it'll see a parked car and it'll go, there's a parked car there, brake, brake, brake. And you're like, I'm going to drive around it. <laughs> so they're like, it's nice that they have them, but they're not clever enough. They're kind of clever, but not clever enough, these features. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I am, I, I wouldn't say I'm a car enthusiast, but I'm interested in cars. Uh, I think if we had like, if we had our time again and we bought the house again, I would probably have bought a car with a drive and a garage. It's a, car, a house with a drive and a garage so that I could have like a garage to store like a weekend car in or something, you know, and it would be something like silly, not like a like a convertible or maybe an MX-5, I don't know. Uh, the second gen one, not the pop-up headlamps. I'm not a fan of that. I like the second gen one with the, 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 you know, the lights in built into it. Um, but maybe something daft, like a, like a weird Citroen or a, I don't know, something rubbish. I mean, have you ever seen the channel Hubnut uh, on YouTube? He loves just boring, weird cars. And I'm a bit like that. I like weird cars. So I would imagine if I had space in the garage, I'd have a weird car. You know, like in my head, I look at things like that BMW i3 or the Mazda uh, MX-30 that have got like weird suicide doors and electric cars with tiny range. And I'm like, oh, I like that. And everyone else is going, it's rubbish, it's useless. <laughs> That's why we ended up with a Kia Soul, because in the UK, not many people have Kia Souls. I think they sold, you know, mid, mid thousands, like 5,000 cars or something in a certain amount of years or whatever. You just don't see them very often compared to like a Ford Focus or a, what, what's common, Cash Kai. Sportage, uh, but I saw them and I was like, I like that. But then you go to America and they're everywhere because they're like the most popular selling car, or they were, I don't know if they still are, the most popular selling car for like college age um, family, you know, children, children, adults. Anyway, enough of me waffling about my weird car test. Uh, my car is, <laughs> carry on with car talking about cats. My car is being, was being stripped yesterday. It has a technician signed to it. They send me a text message every day, the company that are doing it. So um, I check the reviews online and they get like the top high-end reviews for car auto body repair. Because my car is a crystal blue colour. Uh, apparently it's really difficult to colour match. So I'm fully prepared for the colour matching to not be 100% on the repair. We'll see what happens though. I did dream that I got the car back last night. And they basically just wrapped the bumper where it had been smacked. Uh, they'd badly filled the rear boot hatch with like filly, filler, so you could see that it had been badly filled. And they painted the whole car magenta. <laughs> Strange dreams I have. So what it is is um, I've started to realise one of the medications I'm on for the health problems I had a few years ago. The side effects is vivid dreams. And when it, I do have the dreams, they're really mundane things or really silly things, but they feel like they're real. It's very odd. <laughs> it's kind of good when you have a dream about being on holiday and you feel like you're really on holiday. <laughs> anyway, for the rest of... Sorry, I'm covering up. My arm's getting tired. I've been talking for six minutes. For the rest of today, a few bits around the house to tidy, as usual. Uh, we're not doing any particular fancy cooking tonight. I think Gemma's cooking something nice, actually. So we are doing something fancy, but it's like a, she's prepped for that. We might have a sneaky drink in Kaz later, and we'll catch up with you as the day goes on. I think I've talked far too much. This young man likes nothing better to be made a fuss of. I managed to get for, um, get a really reasonably loud purr out of him the other day. He doesn't do a lot of purring. The other day he snuggled up in my arms and I ended up chattering. He breathes very quickly, this cat. So we asked the vet about it, and the vet said, Yeah, some cats just do. I think I mentioned that a few weeks ago. But as a result, he doesn't super loudly purr. He loves a snuggle, though. Unbelievable that you've spent your first formative weeks out in the wilds 
We think that might be why he's a little bit small, you know. Maybe he didn't get the food he needed when he was a kitten. He did when he uh, when he got rescued, though. The rescue foster really looked after him and brought him round. So apparently, in the cattery... Sorry, not the cattery. The uh, cat rescue centre where we rescued him from. There's a picture of him. And a uh, tuxedo cat called Grandad, which was a, a, the cat that kind of brought him out of his shell on the wall. Because Grandad was being fostered, like an end of life type thing, because he was over 20 years old. And he was so patient with them that this guy really took to him. And he was a little kitten. And as soon as we brought him home, he saw Archie, and I kind of think he sees Grandad in Archie. So he loves to chase Archie around. And Archie wants no to do with him. <laughs> no, Archie's just kind of a bit like. He'll accept the kittens until he's had enough. We still call them kittens. They're nearly two and a half years old, but we still call them kittens. I don't know if you could hear that purring, it was very, very quiet. That's why I'm whispering so that when I edit this, I'll normalise the audio and it'll make it a bit louder so you can hear it. So I know you're all waiting for it. Does Fentiman still taste bad? Doesn't smell great. Yeah, it still tastes bad. Maybe not as dry, I don't know. It's not good. Uh, I was I seem to have been quite early picking up that they'd reduce the sugar on our vlogs. And I mentioned it on Twitter a few times. And I even mentioned it on Fentiman's Instagram page. Um, and then I noticed other people noticing it. And places like Reddit, Casual UK, people noticing that they'd reduce the sugar in them. And uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know what it's done to the cells, but in between all the sort of people are going oh it's really good with gin this that and the other is people going it was good until they reduced the sugar but yeah it hasn't improved so i think i'll stick with what was it i found i think it was karma cola was decent little these small cans and that's all you need you know it's and the other thing as well is you might say well the sugar half the sugar's better for you it's like i don't mind that it's half the sugar it just tastes bad like i got the a and w sugar-free caffeine-free root beer and that tasted more like root beer than this Fentiman's Cola tastes like the old Fentiman's Cola. You know, that was at least drinkable. Anyway, maybe we'll come back here in a year or two and see if they're still trying to convince people that this travesty is uh, worth drinking. Somewhat uneventful day so far. Uh, I did get myself a shower, tidied myself up a little bit. I meant to have a trim of the beard, but I didn't. Um, there's a big storm coming over, like Storm Kathleen, I think it's called. So it's really, really windy out there. But I thought I'd use the opportunity uh, to mess around with time lapse on the new DJI camera that we've been using for uh, walking around the zoo vlogs of late. So I've sat that up in the bedroom for five hours, and the battery should run out in about two and a half, based on my testing previously. But I've plugged it into a USB battery charging thing. So I'm going to see if it can do a full five hour run. And the reason for that is when we go to Stavanger and Norway and all the places we're visiting on our cruise, uh, was it Stavanger, Olesund, uh, Hargesund and Alden, uh, I want to get some time-lapse shots from the shots from the side of the ship, like from the balcony that we have as we pass into like the areas. And they're going to be quite long shots, some of them. So I've got this set up where I'm hoping that I'll be able to get time-lapse for more than just 
the two or two and a half hours or so that the battery lasts. The only thing is, is the time lapse only seems to last for five hours. That's the maximum you can run it, which is a bit disappointing because I was hoping to like maybe leave it on all night because the, the battery is like a 10,000 milliamp battery on the USB thing. So we'll see how we get on anyway. Uh, uh, but yeah, I thought with the clouds moving over because of the storm, it might be a nice one to have all the clouds rolling over on out the back window. Whether I actually use this in the vlog, I don't know. It's just for my own sort of testing, you know. But otherwise, uh, not much going on. I'm going to do some parts in a bit. And uh, hopefully uh, then pick Gemma up in a bit later as well. One of the neighbours' sense panels has come down as well. Only a small one at the front. Jammer's home. Guess what? What? I forgot to vlog everything. Mm -hmm. I forgot to vlog us going for a drink in Kaz Social. And I forgot to vlog that lovely tea that you made, which was chicken gyros. 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 Uh, with f chips and tzatziki. Which was lovely as well, and I've eaten far too much. Yeah, and I also forgot to vlog the engine light management light coming on, on the Golf in the rental car. So I've had to email the company that's doing the rental light like, rental uh, thing and said, your car's on, on on the blink. I don't think it's anything major, but I'm not going to drive it until they're, they're sorted. Uh, so what are we doing tonight? <laughs> what was that noise? Know, she's playing in that box. She's got giddy head on, hasn't she? <clears throat> um, Sit there. Watch some vlogs. We'll watch some vlogs and some films. films. She's been very acute and affectionate, hasn't she? And we've got all three of them actually. Those little regiment, regiment, regiment. There's Archie, Archie. balloon. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> I love it when I get to edit the videos and they've done that. It's the cutest thing, isn't it? Anyway, we're having a beverage tonight as well, and then we're going to go out tomorrow and get some food, aren't we? Have a nice day out in town. Yeah. Weather's hot, awful, and it probably will be tomorrow, so we'll have to stay indoors. Ooh. But we'll just have a nice, nice weekend. Yeah, we'll be fine. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. It's Sunday, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're going to head into town, and we're going to get some food at Tiger Rock. Yeah. And then probably head to Dead Crafty for a break, Bruce Giatuski. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> What's going on here? Little danglers over the back here. You got a head. <laughs> you cheeky madam. Don't even pretend you were asleep. You were literally looking at me before I started filming. And we're in town, our old favourite spot to start vlogging from. Just gonna pop to HMV while it's raining. Not been in there for, since it moved, to be honest. Here it is, just here on the right. How about one record? This is in advance of uh, Liverpool getting a rough trade in a few weeks' time, and obviously having loads of indie record places as well. Need to do a, a tour of record shops, I think. Well, we haven't been this way in a while. We've got a bit of time before our food, so we're just walking through the park at Liverpool one. Well, we've done a big walk around and we're just across from the Hard Day's Night Hotel and the restaurant's just down here on the right. Here it is. They do have multiple branches though, so if not this one, then one of the others is available. we got a lunch specials menu in here and lots of stuff to choose from from the main menu too. So a quick rundown of what we've got. We've got the chicken satay, the Inagi Maki, I can't pronounce many of these, I apologise. Uh, sliced steak. We have this uh, Chao Gyo Vietnamese crispy mince pork spring rolls. Sambal Ikan uh, sea bass. We have the uh, Thai green curry. We have the uh, Malayan beef curry with the baked potato. And then we've got some coconut rice and some noodles to go with it. That's food's turned up. We've got the chicken satay, we've got the Vietnamese crispy mince pork spring rolls, and we've got the... I, I, I've done it the wrong way around, that's chicken satay. We've got the Thai green curry. We've got the beef rendang, and we've got the uh, enogi maki. It's very, very nice food. The, the uh, noodles and the rice arrived as well. And our last small bowl is the sea bass. And I've never had sea bass before, so I thought I'd give it a try. And we're done. 
Did you enjoy that? That's lovely. Really Very nice. good. Really enjoyed that. Spent about £75 for six dishes, two sides and two beers. But we had £60 vouchers from uh, Gemma's brother and uh, his partner, so that was lovely. Um, anyway, we're going to go walk up to Dead Crafty, I think, then. What was your favourite dish, by the way? Oh, um, I don't know the one really no. nice. The only one I wasn't taken by was the sea bass, just because the, the taste of the fish was just... It was a little... Not, not, not super my thing. But I just wanted to try something different. Fish, yeah, I just wanted to try something I haven't tried before, so I'm not I'm not mad. <laughs> Alright, change of plan. Before we got a dead crafty, we just wanted to pass the hummingbird cocktail place, so we're gonna give it a try. Here we go, a couple of cocktails. I got the smooth sailing, which is brown butter, four roses, bourbon, hot tenosh and scotch, scotch, frangelico, vanilla and cacao bitters. And Gemma got the was it the summit? Mm -hmm. Lemon burn, vodka, tomato, berry cordial, San Germain, teal, pepper, yellow chartreuse, citrus, orange bitters, and carbonated water. Feels nice, honey. Yeah, it's lovely too. Very smooth. Cocktails done. Enjoyed the hummingbird. We'd definitely be back there, I think. But now we're going to go and check out our old favourite. We have a sure shot, I can't accept drum and bass, a 6% uh, New England IPA. And Gemma went with Pomona Lemon Yellow Sun, also in New England. And this is like brewed in collaboration with Dead Crafty. I think you had it in cans before, haven't you? Yeah. I went three and a half on this one. It's not too bad. Mm. We've had a couple more rounds. Um, uh, this is Barrier Cryomax, which is uh, from the US, but I keep calling it the Barrier Barry Cryomax. And this one is the Pressure Drop. Pressure Drop. Well, they get the tug, but that's quite the name, isn't it? These are both very nice. It's like a four-ish out of five. And we return home, and look at that beautiful sky. I tell you what, I mean, it doesn't rival Florida, but Liverpool does get some really beautiful sunsets now and then. And uh, we had to buy this. So when we didn't vlog, we went and visited uh, Dead Crafty for the uh, Emperor Tap takeover, and he had five beers on, and it and, and it nearly ruined us. Um, but he has done another collaboration with Tot Rope. Now Tot Rope was one of the beers on the night, and it was arguably the best one. It's called Bosque Time, Coffee Hazelnut and Maple Imperial Stout. This one will be always saved. Yeah, they're always Star Wars themed, and they're always very good. This one will be saved until the right time. I'm not drinking it tonight. Like yeah. Ready to hunt down scum and villainy. It's bosk time. But we did have to chuckle because the two beers that we bought were that one, which is ten and a half percent, and an alcohol-free one for a friend. It's just that and they were like, one. "Are you trying to compensate <laughs> even things out?" It was like. Out, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, after uh, our previous uh, interactions with the Emperor, oh. I think we need something to settle our stomachs a bit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Did you have a nice evening? It was a lovely day. Yeah, it was good fun, wasn't yeah, it? Nice, nice afternoon, not evening. Uh, yeah, the food was very good. We had some nice beers in Dead Crafty. The cocktails were good too. Hummingbird mm -hmm. cocktail place that we went to was good. Uh, I'm enjoying that actually for a bit of a change, isn't it? It's nice to go to like a cocktail just bar or something. Just the pace down, doesn't it? Yeah, because we can sit and relax. Oh, and I didn't show you the record that I bought, did I? And before we show you the record, uh, the alcohol-free beer is a cinnamon roll and coffee stout. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, quite definitely quite the mix, I guess. Really, isn't it? With mm -hmm. a ten and a half percent and a was it not point not point five percent? Yeah. So that's actually for one of our friends, so we're going to pass that back to him and we can give it a try. Although I must have, I should have probably picked a can up myself. <laughs> and the record is actually one of the records I've probably listened to most in the last 12 to 18 months. It's Lowe's Hey What, which I said to myself, if I ever see it on vinyl, I'm going to buy it. And I saw it today on vinyl, so I bought it. Very good record. Good evening, Gemma. Good evening. It is now Monday night, isn't it? Yes. You had a nice weekend? Yeah, lovely. It was good. We had fun yesterday, didn't we? Mm -hmm. uh, and you've just cooked us a nice dinner, haven't you? Yeah. Gemma's made us the steaks that I bought and the potatoes and mushrooms. It and looks the fantastic. Mushrooms and, uh, the, the mushrooms and the potatoes in the air fryer. Yeah. We, we went out today to try and get the car sorted, the rental car. Apparently, if you drop it off in any quick fit, they can help you. But neither of the ones we went to had an OBD2 scanner that was working or someone to run it. 
So I'll try another couple tomorrow and we'll see where we get on. Yeah. If, if I can't get any help there, I'm just going to tell them to sort it up themselves because yeah. the car's driving fine. Though. Yeah, I yeah. Think, I'm, I, I think fine. it's something or nothing. As for my car, today it was going in for, I think they said it was going in for uh, body work today because they send me a message every morning saying what's going on. And just on NASA's uh, Twitch stream, they're just showing the totality of the solar eclipse in America, which is pretty cool. Well, I've done it again. It is Wednesday and I haven't ended the vlog. We had a nice weekend though. Enjoyed our visit to town. Tiger Rock was very good. We enjoyed the Hummingbird uh, Cocktail Place and we enjoyed Dead Crafty as ever. Um, so, but that's it, us for the this week. And also, we aren't going to do a mini vlog next weekend, an occasional vlog. We'll probably do something else instead. We might, we might finally do our uh, cruise pre-chat vlog, so that could be fun to do. But yeah, thank you. For, <clears throat> excuse me. Try again. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye-bye.